every good cream curry starts with a nice curry paste. For this recipe, which is one serving, I will be using 20 grams of curry paste. The green one is in my opinion by far the spiciest, so please don't go crazy with adding tons of paste to a recipe. So, now you could either take out your mortar and pestle and do it yourself, but to be honest, for a weeknight meal this is too much work for me, so I'll be using a store-bought paste. You can find very good ones in basically every grocery store, but you have to know which ingredients normally get into a homemade curry paste. Important is that the first ingredients on the list are green chili, lemongrass, shallots and garlic. Also, calories in curry are relatively low because this is basically a vegetable mix. So, next are the two liquid ingredients. In the first bowl, I will add in 100 gram of water and 1 teaspoon of powdered chick stock. This will add a nice umami flavor. In the second bowl, I will add in 100 gram of fat reduced coconut milk. Fat reduced basically means less coconut and more water. You can also add in the regular one, but coconut is quite high in calories, so keep that in mind. This particular one has 60 calories and 100 gram of coconut milk. Next are the vegetables. The classic veggies for this meal are diced eggplant. If you can find Thai eggplant, that would be even better. Snow peas are also a very nice vegetables for green curry. The sweetness would taste amazing in combination with the spiciness. But what I'm currently doing is to just add 250 gram of frozen bok vegetables. It's a mix of all vegetables that are used for different kinds of Asian dishes. Don't be scared of frozen vegetables. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. In fact, flash freezing that is used these days can preserve foods with almost no loss of quality. Next, I will weigh 5 grams of sesame oil, that's enough for one serving. You can also use vegetable oil for this recipe. Just remember to weigh it on a scale. The small amount of oil are 50 calories, which is almost the same amount as the entire plate of frozen vegetables. For the protein source, I will use a skinless chick breast. This weighs 150 grams. You can also go with chicken thigh. As long as you remove the skin where most of the fat is stored, it will have a similar amount of calories. I will now slice this into small cubes, so I can eat the entire meal with a spoon and don't have to cut this later on. So let's get cooking. I will first start with the rice. At the time the rice is cooked, the entire meal will be ready. I will add in 50 grams of rice into a pot and add in double the amount of water, so 100 grams. To me personally, this is the perfect ratio. I will heat up the pot to high, wait until it starts boiling, then turn it down to a simmer, close the lid and let this cook for 12 minutes. For the curry, I will heat the pot to medium high and add in the oil. Then I will add in the curry paste and start to fry it for around 30 seconds. Now I will add in the chicken stock and also the coconut milk and wait until it starts to boil 1-2 to two minutes. Now, if you use frozen vegetables, turn the heat to high, add in the veggies, close the lid and wait until everything starts to simmer again. This will take maybe a minute or so, because everything will cool completely down, but that's okay. So, now we'll turn down the heat to medium low and add in the chicken. Because I cut the chicken breast into small pieces, this will take around 2 minutes until the meat is ready. If you want to be safe, however, use a food thermometer. This is a very useful kitchen tool. If the temperature is higher than 70 degrees Celsius or 160 F, it is safe to eat. Right at the end, I will squeeze in the juice of a half a lime, and the Thai green curry that is actually pretty macro friendly is ready. Add in your rice into a bowl and then the curry goes on top. The entire recipe with the rice comes in with 546 calories, 55 grams of carbs, 16 grams of fat and 42 grams of protein. Pretty good, right? For another quick and easy 500 calorie meal, click on this video and see you there.